Hey guys, welcome to Sip, Savor, and Celebrate. Guess what? We're on the road. That means the road show. We're gonna go down to Canada. Yes, I did say down because fun little side note, Michigan is the only state that you can travel south to go across the border to Canada. So today we're gonna go to Windsor and we're gonna see can you buy tequila? What kind of liquor can you buy? Do you have to go to a special place? Who knows? Let's go check it out. You ready? We're ready, let's do it. Let's do this. All right guys, we're here at Barrel and Vines. A little stop on the way. Since we're in Detroit, might as well go to a couple of the cool places too. But we're in Birmingham, so yep. check out our review. We just posted a fantastic restaurant. Let's head in here and see what they got. Okay, okay guys, go. look inside this place. Look at how massive this wall is. It's like they freaking need a ladder to get up there. And guess what? He even directed us right to the tequila right here. From you can see Inspirio right there. Right there, <laughs> which we've already reviewed amazing stuff, guys. At the stop sign, well, turn right onto Hampton Boulevard. Look around here, maybe we can find something. Maybe At the stop we'll sign, turn right onto there. North Woodward we're Avenue. To notice they also have some G4 too, and we have some, but it's always good to see that when it's on the shelves. <laughs> well, stay tuned. we made it to the crossing we are actually sitting in immigration here in canada so stay tuned as we get through this process and we are excited to show you um, windsor we were talking with 
um, some immigration officers here that were telling us that you can only get liquor at certain spots. So we might um, check out a couple of breweries or distillers. Hang tight. We'll be right back with you. All right, guys. So we made it through customs. We're now here at the LCBO, which is the Liquor Control Board of Canada. So we're going to go in here and see what we can find. Ontario is what the O's stands for. <laughs> what we can find and what they've got to sell. So stay tuned and we'll show you here as we walk inside. This is what I would refer to as a little party store, guys. Okay, folks. So we just went inside the LCBO, um, Liquor Control Board of Ontario. Board of Ontario. That's right. Anyways, uh, they uh, they have very limited selection on what they can and cannot sell here in Canada. Um, their what? liquor stores are government owned owned. and run by the government. So it's it's a little different than like in Michigan where you can be a private owner, but they control what you can and cannot sell in Michigan uh, based on what is approved and what isn't approved, which you just have to have a, uh, you have to have a, um, place like Benchmark or something like that to come in and bring the liquor in and then they can sell it. But, but we did get a couple things. So we found a couple with things us here in a couple of days and we look forward and saying thank you for coming on this trip. Yes. Thank you. Have a great day guys. But until then, remember sip, sip savor and man. celebrate. Okay. As a special entry, we're going to go ahead and go to the duty free shop. <laughs> I said duty. Hey guys. So today, as you can see, we did the road show. Um, this is kind of like an addition. Um, we just got back from our trip to Canada, which was kind of really fun. Uh, Customs was really good, even though they did detain us for just a couple minutes. <laughs> but, you know, as you see, we're here back in the studio. We had a wonderful day. We just wanted to have just a conversation of our experiences and right. some of the things we found and some things we just want to add to this video and and hope that you've enjoyed it as well right the whole reason what i why i called you and said hey i got an idea <laughs> that's kind of usually how it works <laughs> one like, of us has an idea <laughs> like, throw your pants on we're going for an adventure um but my idea was what is it like to buy alcohol in Canada. Is it the same as it is here in the States? Are they any kind of, um, do you just go to a regular party store, pick up the, you know, vodka or tequila that you want or what? And, and that's what actually Customs a was really cool with because as they were searching our car and everything else, yeah. they were actually engaging us about just this topic. Yes. and. And you know they're the yep. ones that confirm what you know about the LCBO. Yep. Um, but then they also gave us a couple of breweries and distilleries that weren't open when we right. were there um, to Everybody check out. Everybody was so nice and so accommodating. Um, even when we went to the LCBO, they said, "Well, this is a." We went to two different ones. The first one was extremely small. Um, it was about the size of a normal gas station party store type building. Really small. Uh, very small, very little, sort of uh, select, yeah, the selection was pretty small. And so the nice lady said, well, go over to this one at the um, Roundhouse Center. Right. And that's kind of our flagship, she called it. Um, so when she said that, she goes, they got a whole aisle full of tequila. <laughs> well, when we got there, um, and this was an eye-opening experience, because first of all, number one, the alcohol is sold and controlled completely by the government okay so like here in michigan our michigan legislation has deemed it that the the local government says what you can sell but michigan is not the seller so you know a a um a distributor would come to the state of michigan and say hey i've got a product i want to sell that here on the stores in michigan and then they approve it or decline it, which they hardly ever decline it. 
um, and then it goes on the shelves and you can go and buy it. Well, in Canada, everything is from the selection to the sale, everything is 100% controlled by the actual government. Um, the LCBO was uh, generated or created in 1927, um, right after the lift of their prohibition in Canada. Um, and then they've been in business ever since, and that's all controlled by the government. They sell it. Um, in, and when, let's talk about the selection. Yeah, that's where we were going to go. So, so when we walked in, um, you guys know that usually when we're hunting, we're hunting for something unique, something specific. Yeah. yeah. What I would describe this as is commercial brands. commercial faceplate brands of everything, um, and that was kind of. A letdown, but only for us because we're we are specific hunters. We're looking for Correct. that that thing that is uh, you know like G4 um, or you know or something like Tapatio uh, tequilas or you know even let's talk about the whiskeys. You know yep. Jefferson's. You know that's one of my favorite. Maker's Mark, which is a big brand here in the U.S., not one that they had there. No, they did have some good brand, good brands. I mean, uh, uh, you know, like they did have the Al Ticaleno, um, but they only had the Reposado is all that they had. But everybody's out of that in the country, so you know, they had the Reposado of that. They had the they crowns, had El Tesoro, um, and then they had like you know the diffused garbage that everybody's got. You know, eight one eight or the or the Terramana, or, you know, they got those ones, and the, and the Jose Cuervos, um, but they didn't have a huge selection of the organic, uh, non-additive, they didn't have very many. They probably had three or four brands that had no additives that were there to select from. But one thing we did do, Chris, and, and we are going to wait and see how this comes back, is you guys, we did send an email because we want them to educate us as to really how this works in the process yes. so we can bring that with you. So we hope that the um, LCBO will be a guest, even if it is just through a Zoom. Um, that right. would be really cool. Yep. But ultimately, this whole thing was literally uh, just a thought of mine. I'm like, what is it like? Is it the same? Is it different? And yes, it is different. It is very, very and, and so far through our travels, you, you know, we've gone a few different places and each place we go, there's a different way to acquire, you know, what we're looking for. Right. Chicago was super easy. <laughs> um, Florida is one of those easier right. states as well. I'm you going know. back to Chicago probably next week and um, just uh, we're going to go bring a friend back. Um, and since we're going there, you know, I'm going to go check a couple other uh, stores out. <laughs> but, you know, we do thank you for riding along with us today. Definitely. Um, and we hope that you remind all your friends that we are out there on the road. Drop us comments. Let us know if there's a place you think we should be. You're heading out to Chicago. So, hey, guys, we got great feedback from the last one. You know, you guys had mentioned a couple places, I do believe, in the last Chicago yep, hunt. Yep. Drop those under here so we can definitely check those out. And remember, it's always sip, sip savor, savor, and celebrate. celebrate. Cheers.